I'm Janis Kula. I'm Jesper de Jong. I'm Henry Laksan. I am Francisco Segundolo. And you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. It's eager time. That's right. We're in Rome. She's playing her second match. She's yet to drop a game. And she is on court now. She's playing the girl from Ukraine, Lesia Serenko, in the third round here. And she started off pretty handily as well. Not a bad start, 30 love and already doing the business, it would seem. If you are just joining us, then please make sure you hit a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and join us for the rest of Rome and Roland Garros, which is coming up very, very soon. Only a small couple of weeks left, and we have a series dedicated to the countdown to Roland Garros. Make sure if you haven't checked that out yet, go and check out episode one. That one started last night, and it is the countdown. And that's myself, JG, running through uh, a lot of uh, the stuff that's just going to be happening in Roland Garros, the contenders, the news, all sorts of stuff. And we're covering the men's and the women's on there. So there'll be new episodes uh, coming weekly. So I can't wait for the next one. Right, we've got Gary in. How are you doing, Gary? Saying, hey, Ben, GTR fam, on my way to the beach. So I'll miss the end of this one unless Ego is in a big hurry again. Uh, hope all the matches are long so I can get back for Nola. He's on after this one. Yep, we'll be covering that one as well. Make sure to join us for that one too. And Serenko started all right now because she's come from love 30 or 30 love to now with a break point in the first game. And is Iga going to drop her first game of this tournament straight away? We've got Manor in. How are you doing? Good to see you. And we've also got the Maltese Disco, mate. How are you doing? Right, serving with a break point right now against the is Iga. Solenko looks ready down the other end. Good backhand from the Ukrainian. And it's hooked wide from Eager, and she does drop her first game. It's a break early on, and it goes to Serenko. Eager, the hot favorite to win Roland Garros and to win Rome. Well, has this put a spanner in the works? Serenko, then first play of this new Serenko button. M saying, hey, Ben, watching Runa versus Fanini. It's all happening at the moment. It is indeed. What a match that one is as well. Uh, I'll try and keep you posted with all the things going on around the courts. So I'll be trying to keep a BDI on some of the other matches as well. And Sean Wright, JG's man, Cecinato, doing well. He knows his stuff. That's right. In Italy, Cecinato on the clay. Very good call from JG. 
And Holger Luna doing the business, it looks like, at the moment. Although he is facing break point against Fabio Fanini right now. 5-2 yeah, in that first set. Not had the easiest route so far, has Holger Luna. Having the qualifier, Arthur Fees, that was not a given. And now Fabio Fanini, the home player, uh, would have all of the crowd on his side, as we know. And Iga... Not off to the best of starts. She's started. She's been broken. And now Sorenko looking for the consolidation. She knocked out Svitolina in this tournament. And Svitolina wasn't actually looking too bad, I didn't think. So pretty good result for her, getting one over her fellow, her fellow countrywoman. And obviously beating Bernarda Perra. So she's yet to drop a set in this tournament. She last played Eager at the French Open last year, and it was 2-0. and oh. So the bagel was served up. Will we get one today? Not sure. The way it started doesn't look that likely. But let's get your predictions in the live chat now. It might be more interesting to hear since he goes down a break. <laughs> Ooh, and the backhand doesn't look too good today from Eager. She's hooked another one wide. They're showing 19 degrees and a nice blue sky over in Rome. No signs on the uh, weather forecast of rain, so there should be a full day's play today. And Solenko serves into the net with the first serve. We've got a 7-5 Eager first set. Sean saying, has Iga ever, ever received a bagel in her career? I believe she has. I can't remember who it was, though. Nice backhand there from Iga. Good forehand. 40 love. Tough to come back from, but if anyone can do it, she can. And there's the first one. It just floats long from Solenko. Iga just watched it just drift and land next to her foot. Solenko with a couple more chances to get the consolidation. Eager looking ready, wearing the cap today, sh shadowing her eyes from the sun. First serve, not a good one from Sorenko into the middle of the net. Second serve, but it does look like a nice day over there in Rome today. Sunny here in the UK as well, for once. Hasn't been a good week of weather. Good second serve there. Backhand from Eagles into the net. And there you go. It is a consolidation for Solenko. <laughs> Wasn't even sure we were going to get any presses over the Solenko button, but we're going to have a cup already. She goes, Legia Salenko. <laughs> More to saying the button is haunting. It's got a little flute in there. Do you like that? Thought I'd add in a little different <laughs> vibe for Salenko. <laughs> nice depth on the shots here from Eager. Great inside out forehand. Salenko keeping it in the court, though. Making a play another shot, and Eager goes back to her, but good volley there, and Salenko tries her best. Unfortunately, cannot get to that one. Good recovery skills. Casey saying, I like this button. We've got some eager love coming in. Unfortunately, I'm unable to read it, but I'll pop it up on the screen for you. And we've got Ifiok Udolfia saying, still very, very, very early to talk about a bagel. Yeah, I... I don't see Eager getting bageled, if I'm perfectly honest. She's missed the first serve there, though. Second serve. 
Yeah, for Ego. She normally takes twice as long to serve the second one. It's a good kicker out wide. She goes down the line there, and Sorenko, a great hooked forehand cross court, but Iga's equal to it. And Sorenko down the line and wide. Good rally, that one, though. Really high level from both. I mean, Pavlyuchenkova wasn't getting anywhere near those backhands down the line the other day. Sorenko gave as good as she got there. But then the eventual one, far, a little bit too powerful. Eager about to serve. 30 love. Serves down the center of the box and it's good enough. Uh, it blocks back and blocks long from Solenko. 40 love. Maybe Eager just starting to settle in. Not used to being down to love at the beginning of any match, that's for sure. Eager serves, goes just long into the backhand side. Eager been on quite the run. Uh, only Sabalenka, the person to defeat her on clay so far this year. And there's a double fault, unfortunately, for her, but no better time to throw one in than when you are 40 love up. KC throwing in some eager emotes with a Yazda. Where are all you eager fans? Did you all think this was going to be a, a walk in the park? And that's why not so many have arrived. 40-15. Serves in. It's a good one. Great return from Sorenko, though. She attacks the net. Great drive volley. And that's brilliant play. A great return off of uh, a, quite a powerful serve from Iga. Sorenko showing that she can play. She can mix it with the hard hitters. And a really good double-handed backhand half, uh, not half volley, drive volley, sorry, into the open court. And Iga now from 40 love. Back to 40-30. Good serve out wide. And Solenko's gone long. And Eager on the board. Not going to be any sort of bakery item coming in the first set for Eager, but at least uh, she's on the board now. We'll give her a button. Eager. Some very dramatic music playing uh, in the stadium at the moment. Not sure where that's coming from. It's like a, a, a symphony of violins and... Some dr drama. Sounds, I'm not sure what they're advertising there, but it's, they like blasting out the the speakers uh, uh, over there in Rome. Can be quite off-putting, I'm sure, if there is another court nearby who are still playing and on court. Speaking of other people playing and on court, let's go over and speak about the, the matches that have finished off today. One of GTL alumni Francisco Solundolo through in three sets, knocking out the Berlair for, uh, from France. That was 6 2, 6 2 in the final two sets. Chechenato through, knocking out a goot in straight sets, 6 2, 6 2. A lot of twos. Poplin knocking out Safulan, 7 5, 7 5. And Holgaluna just takes the first set against Fabio Fonini, six games to four. We also have Daniel Medvedev. Uh, out on court, he's up against Emil Rusevori. He's serving for the first set. It is 30 all at 5 4 there. So we'll go through some of the others when we get to the next changeover. Right, they're waiting to serve at the moment. Whilst they're waiting, I can tell you Camila Georgie out, Mukova. Uh, knocked Camila Georgi out. And we also had Sakari crashing out to Von Drusova. A very good result for Marquetta. She was the favourite to win, but she did it in convincing fashion in straight sets. 
And Eager goes for the passing shot there. Just wide. And it is a 15 love. Yeah, Georgie getting knocked out by Mokova. We've got Kasak Kino on the court at the moment against Galaba from Austria. That one's into a third. Any other ones playing right now? Tsitsipas still yet to finish his match against Nuno Borges. Hampman and Fritz on court right now. We have Laszlo Gier, Christian Garin. Who knows which way that one goes. Sounds like it's got three sets written all over it, that. First serve just long from Tolenko. He's checking the sun. Wearing a red, pink, orange with the the little brooch of uh, the Ukraine. She, yeah, she's trying to throw the ball up, but the sun clearly affecting her ball toss right now. Eager probably knows the pain. She was just up that end. She gets the serve in, but it's not powerful at all, and she's automatically on the back foot. And you could see it's almost like the sun was still in her eyes after that first serve. I wouldn't be surprised if Eager breaks here. Looks like one of those. And Daniel does take the first set against Rusevori. That's one in my bracket I had. Lucivori, I thought he might be able to cause the upset there. Still time. Fritz breaks against Hanfman. I'll keep you updated with the live scores. Right, serving here, 15.30. She's checking the sun again. I mean, she doesn't like it on that side. She's going to see if somebody can bring some clouds over. It is in. It's another weak serve, though. I mean, she's just trying to get it in, essentially. But she's into the rally, at least. Going backhand to backhand. And that would be what I would target. Although, Eager's backhand clips the line. Forehand to forehand cross court. Eager, brilliant shot down the line. She loops it, and it just clips the baseline. It dipped in right at the last second. It was one of those ones that loops up, but the top spin just carried it back down again inside the line, I believe, at the end. Right, two break points. 15-40. Serving. Goes down the tee. Eager into the net. Ah, oh, it was an opportunity there. Sean's saying, I'm surprised more players don't wear shades. Yeah, I mean... If you could get some that were the, like I guess you'd call them more like goggles or something. So as long as they don't affect or, or affect the match, fall off that type of thing. As long as they're stuck to your stuck to your head, I don't see anything wrong with it. But it might affect your vision, for or may even affect the way that you see the court. Just protecting. Your eyes from the sun. Backhand to backhand cross court. Eager seems happy to go with that. And it is long from Serenko. And it is the break. Eager back on serve. Eager. Yes, that. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up, bageling. I'm eager when I'm your child. I'm a feature. I'm gonna beat ya. I'm eager. I'm gonna suit ya. Now you can handle my heat now. So eager back on serve. It's two two. Will she grab the next game? That one's out into the corner. She goes inside out forehand. Not with much pace, though. A little slice drop shot that Eager just comes in and puts away with ease. If you're just joining us, make sure you've hit a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. We are trying to hit, I think it's 52,000 subscribers. We always like to try and get 100 likes on every video as well. So if you can help us get to that, we've got a special song that we will bring out. And we're at 39 already, so not too bad. 61 to go. Come on, people. Let's do this. Eager's back in the match. And 
It was just a momentary blip. She did have a few, quite a few unforced errors in that first game. And the backhand looks a lot more assured now than it did in those first two games, that's for sure. Good serve there. It's a little sort of blocked drop shot and a good attempt at a pass there from Serenko and it goes down very low and Iga was unable to get there. Got a racket to it. But Serenko very unhappy with her return of serve, it seems. She's blocked it. It landed exactly where you don't want it to land for Iga. Landed on the service line. And Iga was there, but she didn't do enough with the next shot. Normally is clinical. But that one was a hittable one, and she got punished. Good serve down the tee. And it is long from Solenko. Yeah, this match, I was assuming Iga would probably clean it up. Part of me, I'm always... Oh, where's my, uh, where's my camera gone? Why is that disconnected? As long as you can still hear me. Don't know what's going on there. I'll just try and connect to a different camera for now. We got a few, don't worry. There we go. We'll try this one. There we go. <laughs> got me on a different camera now. There you go. Gary saying the tide changes early. No surprise. There uh, really isn't any surprise, is there? How many times have we seen Eager win three games in a row? Normally, she doesn't lose two in a row before she wins those three in a row. But this is just life. Yeah, I'm not sure why that camera just suddenly went out. Apologies to everybody. Maybe it will uh, reconnect again. And I can have a better camera than the one I'm currently using. Anyway, down the line it goes from Eager, cross court. And it is long from Eager there. Uncharacteristic backhand. It's 40-30. Maybe not as straightforward as we first thought. I'll be going back. Back with the other camera. <laughs> Chopping and changing. 40-30. Serve. Clips the net cord. And it is back to Eager's hand. She uses the same ball again. Will this one be... Effective second serve. Great serve. It's in back in play, though. Oh, and it's into the net, and Eager does consolidate her break back. The music plays once again in the changeover as Eager takes the lead here in Rome. If you're just joining, hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And join us for the rest of Rome. Check out the new series podcast that has just been released as well. That one is The Countdown. And The Countdown is this time to Roland Garros. Roland Garros in 14 days is upon us. So I can pop the link for that if you want some, uh, some nice watching. I'll put down The Countdown, episode one here. So there you go. Go check that one out. It's got some interesting insight from myself, JG. Just give it a click. Leave us a comment. Leave us a like. Should be a good new introduction to GTL. Something that's going to be on a weekly basis. And they're showing the Polish fans. Still not really many people there watching. The high ticket prices keeping people away. 
but maybe they're just waiting for the more competitive rounds. This one's been fairly competitive, though. Eager, obviously, a big supporter of the Ukraine as well. So this one carries a little bit more weight. I'm sure, well, Solenka, I'm not sure what she's waiting for. I think it's just people to sit down. Yeah, still a few people wandering around. They don't even want to pick which seat that they're sitting in. There's so many to choose from. Serves in. Backhand into the forehand of Solenko. Goes cross court. Now down the line. Eager, happy to oblige in this rally, though. Backhand to backhand. She has a bit more pace on hers. Solenko doing well. But that one she can't get to. It's down the line. It's forehand from Eager, and it is too good. Love 15. Starting to see the bully come out. And Sorenko, there's only so many that she can get back in a rally like that. Eager with a fist pump. Serve in from Sorenko. Good forehand cross court. Eager gets there with plenty of time. That's a good forehand there, though. Eager going to change. I know she's not going to change anything. She's just going to check a ball mark by the looks of it. 15 all. Let's see if Solenko can stop the rot here and uh, get this to 3-3. Three, three. She's lost the last three games. Taking her time a little bit here. Solenko on the serve. Oh, that's a good in-swinging one, but Eager just bats it away. It's 15-30 and clean winner off of the serve. I mean, it was... There was a good bit of spin on it. It just was no pace on it whatsoever. And Eager just, she'll eat them for breakfast. Five winners to one in favour of Eager so far. Backhand cross court from Eager. Forehand inside out. Playing down the middle of the court with backhands. Eager changes the direction and it... It gets the desired effect because Sorenko goes long with the next shot and it is two more break points here for Iga Sviantek. We've got Lindsay in. How are you doing, Lindsay? Good to see you. Have you turned up at the turning point? Two break points. Serves in. Backhand's good from Iga. She's hitting it deep. She's hit it wide there, though. And that's one break point wasted from the pole. Keep an eye on some of the other matches going on right now as well. I'll take you through those when we get hit, well, when we get to the break. It looks like Daniil may be able to get it done in two. Same with Holger Luna. Serve so just wide there from Sorenko. A very, very slow first serve, it has to be said. Lindsay saying, I have a question. I joined the patron. Does that mean I'm a member? They're two different things, the uh, Patreon and the membership. But that one is long and it is at the break. And it's four in a row now. Yeah, with the Patreon, that is something which is not... Uh, part of youtube that is uh exclusive stuff that uh, is its own platform so that we have patreon exclusive content that we paste uh paste that we post <laughs> only on patreon that we have exclusive vlog content on there we have player roulette you can only be a part of player roulette if you are a part of our patreon membership so if you want to be part of the youtube membership then there is a join button underneath this uh video it's it it's not very, uh doesn't cost a lot uh it's about a pound or something a month and then you can be uh part of the green youtube members get a nice a picture of a player next to your name and you'll show up in the live chat and we'll give you some shout outs and you can have some special live chat features too all right 15 love 
been eager, looking like she's going for the bagel. But six games in a row, bagel, not an actual bagel. It'll be, I feel like that, that's the way this set's turned around. It feels like Iga started slow and she can still bagel you, yeah? but it's not, a, it's not an actual bagel that you're going to get. You're going to get a swan. I feel she could have lost the first four games and still won it 6 4. Serving here. Good serve. Brilliant serve. Good return. Eager fires a forehand into the net. Probably didn't expect that one to come back. And it's 15 all. Some very interesting scores going on around the uh, other courts right now. Take you through that in a minute. Lindsay saying, thanks for explaining. We'll join the membership. Great to have you on board, Lindsay. It's into the net with the first serve there from Eager. We're up to 61 likes on the video. Come on, let's get that one to 100. Come on. Only 39 to go. Got the special button that will come out. Backhand into the backhand of Solenko. And again. Now into the forehand, cross court from Solenko. Eager, oh, boom, down the line it goes. Massive from on high. She comes right over the top of the ball. And that's how you hit a big forehand winner. And the fist pumps out again. Gary in again saying, wow, my lovely bride was up at 7.30 a.m., primed and ready to jump in the waves on our way to do just that. Hoping I'll be back in time to see Novak's result. Idimo nole. Enjoy. Well, you enjoy yourself, Gary. Have a great time. Hopefully you're wearing your uh, nole T-shirt down to the beach. It is 40-15 right now for Eager. Serving here. Oh, she's taking her time. She's thinking again about that ball toss. Great ball toss and good serve. Forehand cross court. And another good forehand cross court there. And it's too powerful and Eager consolidates another break. Iga Yazda. Iga, Iga, Spionte. Yazda! The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel in. I'm Iga, we know each other. I'm a feature, I'm gonna beat ya. I'm Iga, I'm gonna suit ya. Now you can handle my heat now. Yes, Eager, 5-2 up. She was two love down, can you believe it? And now she is 5-2 in the lead and looking like it's going to be 6-2 anytime soon. If you haven't hit the like button yet, why haven't you hit that thumbs up? Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you want to help support the channel, you can see we've got a Rome tip target. Du -du 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 -du. You can get on the leaderboard. And if you send in $5, we'll get any player button, any of the player buttons played for you on this stream and we'll give you a shout out as well. Uh, we've got Ardil leading the way at the moment. We've got Goldflake in second, Manor and Kathy in there. But yeah, there's still another place on the top tippers leaderboard for anybody who wants to help support GTL. Right, 5-2. I said I'll go through some of the other scores. Holgaruna up a set and 4-love in the second set. He's really destroying Fanini, it seems. And Daniel Medvedev, he was up a break in the second set. He's up a set to love. And he just got broken back by Rusevori. It's one all. And now it looks like he's going to break back again. He's down love 40, Rusevori, on his serve. Laszlo Gere has taken the first set against Christian Garin. That one's six games to three. And Taylor Fritz, he was up a break. Now back at 3-3 with Yannick Hampfman. I think I might have had Hampfman in my bracket. Not sure. And the other ladies' match going on right now, Grabha from Austria, is 4-all with Daria Kasakina 
in the third and final set. Will Kasatkina be able to get that over the line or will it be another big upset in Rome? And Solenko serving. It is a 15 love. There you go, Gary saying, no way. I'm letting that prize T-shirt fade in the hot Florida sun. I'll be wearing it strategically. I'm out. <laughs> Take it easy, Gary. Well, this is a T-shirt, if you're wondering, that Gary won for Player Roulette, which is exclusive to our Patreon members. If you want to be a part of Player Roulette, then sign up to our Patreon. We will be having Player Roulette running through Roland Garros. So you'll be allocated a player for Roland Garros. And if they win the tournament, you will win a prize. So there'll be a lot of people out there, I'm sure, hoping that they get one of a few names. I'm sure Djokovic will be up there. Alcalaz will be up there. And maybe even Rafael Nadal may be up there as well. But we may even be doing it on the women's as well. If we get enough people, join the Patreon. Yeah, Medvedev has broken again. So all breaks in that second set between Rusevori and Medvedev. Oh, eager trying to overpower Solenko in the rally again and misses that forehand. Goes wide. And it is 30-15. Unforced errors. Eager with eight. Solenko, not so many. Poor first serve. I mean... The one thing I'd say about Solenko is if she had a if she had a better serve, I feel that she'd be a lot more dangerous. Her her actual rallying is pretty good. And that's a let and a second serve. And this is where Eager's actual like gameplay comes into play in Rome so well. She's not known as having one of the most dangerous serves, but the serve does sort of get a bit nullified, and that one has been nullified by Eager's return. It bounced right up. And she just leathered it backhand into the corner. But even though we we say, oh, Eager can just hit through these, and the it's not that easy just to keep hitting that exact same spot on the court to be hitting the lines, to be hitting the corners. That takes skill. She's got it in abundance. Right. 30 all, two points away from the end of this set, but could have a set point on our hands. Good recovery here from Solenko running around the baseline and eager maneuvering her around again and into the corner and Solenko dashes there. She gets it back in, but you're not getting in that one. We got set point. She put it straight back behind Solenko. We got Sean in saying, I'm glad Radu Kanu had a good reason for her loss of form. I was worried it was just because she wasn't that good for a while. Yeah, the, I feel that that does put the mind at ease slightly, doesn't it? Knowing that there was a long-standing actual injury there. And Eager goes long, wastes the set point. And it is Deuce. Yeah, I really hope that when, when she comes back, she is fully fit, everything's mended, and we get to see the best Radu Kanu again. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? What, what a story that would be. That the main reason that she wasn't playing well was only because of these injuries. That would be it would be a real another fairy tale story for her because she just sort of kept it quiet. And that one's long from Solenko. It's going to be another set point. And it is set point number two. Eager didn't do enough with the last one. I've got a feeling that this one's going to be another hittable serve for her. So it's really down to her how she tackles it. Does she step in? Does she rally? I feel like she's going to step in. That's long on that one. So she gets a second serve as well. Even better for Iga. She doesn't even have a first serve to contend with. Not that Solenko's serving up any sort of 
fast first serves this entire match. Oh, and she serves up a double fall. And that's, there you go. That's the first set done and dusted. Six games to two. You know who. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel and I'm eager when I'm on the job. I'm a feature. I'm gonna beat ya. I'm eager. I'm gonna suit ya. Now you can't handle my heat now. Oh, Eager takes the first set, six games to two. Another turn up for book uh, for the books in another match that's going on right now. Uh, Taylor Fritz was up three love against Yannick Hanfman. He's now down four three, and with the break for Yannick Hanfman, one of the GTLers. So well done, Hanfman. Great performance so far. That was always going to be a tough match for Fritz. I, I thought it was be. A, I thought it would be. I think we alluded to it in that draw preview. And Daniel Medvedev is 3-1 up in the second set. He's up a set to love against Rusevori. Holger Luna looking in good form. He's a set and 5-1 up against Fabio Fanini, looking to send the Italian pack in and in front of his home crowd too. We've got Hasak Kina. She's up 5-4 in the final set against Glaber. And Glaber just serving to stay in the match now. Other matches coming up. Well, 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 well. We have Novak Djokovic, the guy on this T-shirt. Here he is. The Joker. He'll be up against Grigor Dimitrov. That one's coming up after this match. That one. And it's scheduled for around two o'clock for just under an hour's time. We'll have to see how this second set goes. Will Solenko show any form of a, a comeback? And some other good matches on today, though. There's there's a good listing of them. Goffan Zverev, that sounds interesting. Shevchenko Sinner, another really good one. Goff Bauskova. Badoza Kostyuk. That one could, who knows, maybe an upset there. Kostyuk. Been looking good. Azarenka Keys and probably the pick would probably be Kaichikova Ostapenko. Like that one. We got Samsonova Vekic, another good one as well. And Kalin Sky versus Rebakina. Yet again they play. And Rebakina defeated by Kalin Sky in the last tournament. So will she get her revenge on what would be a slower court, to be honest? Um Probably would play more into Callan Sky's favour, you'd think, but maybe Rebakin is finding her feet on the clay. And Eager kicks us off in this second set. She broke to win the first. How do we see the score of this second set going? Give us your score for the second set, your prediction in the live chat. Come on, give it to me now. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. I reckon it's going to be more dominant. I, I still feel like Sorenko can can nick a game, though. I don't know why. I might go over 6-1 in this second set. Crazy we say this. But would that be a good result compared to Pavlyuchenkova? Probably. Mainly that first set was just down to Eager starting slowly, though. She's definitely more into her groove now. Good backhand cross-court rally. And again, Solenko down the line with a really good shot there. She comes into the net. Can she put it away? Yes, brilliant forehand from Solenko. She's starting the second set. How she started the first with intent, not getting defeatist. A really good put away. I mean, Iga has to realize that if she puts balls in the middle of the court like that as well, she will also be punished. To get some water. Run out. Shame, isn't it? Love 30. Oh, it's called fault, but... It will be another first serve because there's a correction from 
the umpire. They're just saying it does look like it just came. All right, we're nearly up to 50 likes on the video anyway. 49, if you haven't hit the like button yet, do so now. We will hit 50 in just a second's time, and then maybe we get to 100. Who knows? Serving now. Love 30. And the first serve into the net this time. Not even any cause for questioning that. Second serve. Second serve is in. Oh, it's a brilliant second serve. What an amount of kicks she put on that and then puts away the next ball. Nothing Serenko could have done about that. She just about got a racket to it. It bounced up so high. Eager serving. Goes out wide. Lofted up. And Eager goes for the smash. Not a very good smash, has to be said, but good enough. I think she knew that just pushing it back, she just doesn't want to take the chance. She doesn't want to lose any more games. It's 30 all. Taking her time here. Crowd not really getting into this match, it wouldn't seem. Ball toss. Not good enough. Second attempt at it here. It is in. Forehand down the line. Cross court. If from Solenko goes long. And it is 40-30. She's managed to turn this game around from love 30 down. Now 40-30. Going through the motions right now, Eager. Get this first game under the belt. Serve him. Into the net. Not a good one, that one. Second serve. Definitely has a lot more on her second serve than what Solenko does. Solenko with only 1.1 on second serve in that whole first set. It's a good second serve, good depth, but she's fired the backhand long and definitely not vintage eager that we're seeing. That's for sure. Taking her time here. Where's she going to put this first serve? She's been looking down the middle for quite, quite a lot of this juice side. And she's messed up the ball toss again. The sun's gone in just for a second. Maybe that's what confused her. So not a good serve at all. Into the net. Second serve. She puts it just into the backhand of Solenko. Backhand cross court from Eager. Steps in. And there you go, into the net from Solenko, and it is advantage, Iga Sviontek. Sean saying Djokovic are quite attacking with the forehand the other day. Does he feel he needs to up his level with Alcaraz around? Yeah, he was hitting with a lot of attacking intent, it has to be said. Uh, I thought it was refreshing. I liked it. Maybe he wanted to get out of there slightly quicker. Like he was playing well. Echeverri played well too. Wasn't an easy first match at Rome. That was long from Eager. She seems to just be wasting opportunities to take this first game of the second set. So I think I'm just happy to stay in the rally and wait for the error at the moment. I will go and grab a drink as soon as this game finishes. 
whenever that may be. Eager serving into the net. Not so great. I mean, the serving is a bit off right now from Eager. Second serve, maybe? That one's a good one. Good return from Solenko. Not enough length on it, though. That one a little bit better. Getting it, Need to get it past that service line. She's not, and it's going inside the service box at the moment. And again, an eager's just going to come to the net. And the passing shot wide from Solenko. And it is another chance to take the game. Advantage eager once more. Keep an eye on Yannick Hanfman's taken the first set against Taylor Fritz and some oh, some bad news. Christian Garin has retired in his match against Laszlo Gere. He will be dropping quite a few points from his quarterfinal last year. Sad to see. I had him going back to the quarterfinals again this year, but obviously injury has struck. And there you go. Finally, Eager gets on the board in the second set after a back and forth juice of just her hit either hitting winners or errors Sorry, just had to grab a water quickly, just in time for Solenko to start serving. There she comes. First serve is into the net. Nothing changes. Oh, sorry about that. There we go into the rally and into the net. Goes eager. Um, Round the other matches. We've got Medvedev. He is up 4-2 in the second set against Rusevori. And Graba and Kasatkina look like they're going for the long haul. 6-5. Three hours, three minutes on court there. That final set looks like it's destined for tie break. And Solenko, more poor serving. She's just getting away with it at the moment. Let me know in the live chat which match are you looking forward to the most today as well out of the ones that still remain. There's quite a few nice ones out there. For me, I think I've already said it. Klaichikova Ostapenko is my pick. Although I'm not mad at Djokovic Dimitrov either. Be interested to see how Malazan gets on in his final mat, uh, in his final set against Lehechka. Up a break in the third. Will Lehechka come out refreshed? But Malazan, brilliant player from Hungary. Normally on the Challenger Tour. Brilliant winner from Eager there down the line. Thirty fifteen. See what other matches are going on. I think they're, we've got Benoit Pair into a final in uh, Italy on, on the Challengers. That's uh, on, on the clay courts. He's up against Tabio of Chile. Good luck to both of them. And Solenko goes long with a forehand there. The return a little bit too quick. We're up to 51 likes on the video. Come on, let's keep that going up. We got to get it up. And don't you know? We got to hit more. 51. We got 89 in. We got 90 in. Let's get that up to 90. Cracked open a beer for you. Why not? Sunday vibes. Nice forehand there from Solenko. Oh, 
Eager with a poor forehand, hooks it. It's going to give that one a bit of a shank, to be honest. And it is 40-30. Yeah, that one ballooned off the racket of Eager. Nearly hit the cameraman. Good backhand there from Eager. And again, Solenko doing well to stay in the rally, but she doesn't really ever get in the in front of Eager in the rally. She's always playing catch up. And Eager steps in, puts it away, and it's juice. No surprises there. Quite interested to see what other finals we've had today. We've had one in Prague. We've had um, a Czech player winning that, which is Mensik. 17-year-old winning the challenger, Jacob Mensik. Well, that's fantastic. He's beaten Radu Albot, Sachko, Santian. Uh, Moro Canias and then Dominic Kopfer in the final. 333 in the world. Jacob Mensik. Keep your eyes out for him. Sounds like a good one for the future. <clears throat> Excuse me. Forehand cross court winner there from Eager. And another final which didn't include. Dominic team like Dominic team was in a semi-final yesterday and was up against uh, I believe it's young Serbian player Madjedovic Madjedovic has got all the way to the final without dropping a set beating Richard Gerch Dennis Novak Dominic team he defeated 7662 so good good showing from him and all of this and there you go, Eager batters the ball, and it is the break, and it is too loud. <laughs> too love to Eager. Soon to be three, I'm sure you agree. But in the final, uh, in Austria, we have Madjedovic against Misalik. Misalik always seems to find himself there or thereabouts in these clay court swings. In these finals, won a challenger recently over in Italy. And now he's back. Uh, it didn't do too well in Madrid, obviously losing to Arnaldi. But then back to the challengers again. He's back in a final again. It's high level, but it goes to show how much of a higher level you get on the ATP circuit. Eager with a little double fault there. I think we can forgive her for that. All right, let's go back and see what's going on in the... Oh, Medvedev is serving at 5-2 now, serving for the match. Yannick Humphman on serve against Fritz in the second. And as predicted, Kasakina Graba into a tiebreak. Forehand winner from Eager off of the second ball. 15 all. Yeah, let me know in the live chat how much do you see the Rome results of players affecting their run at Roland Garros? Do you think that? It's beneficial to go deep in Rome, or would you prefer it if they had slightly longer to prepare for Roland Garros, like as a more of a gap, let's say? And I think they get a week, some of them obviously less if they're having to qualify, they go straight back into it. So, they're out wide, a great kicker from Eager. She steps in, takes the ball early. Down the line, Solenko been given the run around and it's just no chance. She has to guess and she guessed wrong. Four 
40 15. Looking for three love very, very shortly. Yeah, I mean, the whip she gets on that. Brilliant forehand winner from Eager. Got a lot of quiet people in the live chat today. Come on, <laughs> come on, everybody. Give me your thoughts. Let Tell me where you're watching from, what you're up to. Pop it in the live chat. And Eager does consolidate that break. Right, we'll get our button out for that. Eager, Eager, Spionte. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up, bageling. I'm eager when I'm eager. I'm a peach. I'm gonna peach. I'm eager. I'm gonna see ya. Now you can handle my heat now. You can't handle my heat now. That's right. That's right. All right, so three love eager. The normal service resumes, as we like to say here on GTL. And eager looking like she could be closing in. Is she going to get a bagel? Is she going to get a breadstick? Which one do you reckon she's going to be able to achieve? Or maybe neither. Do you think Serenko is going to come and get back into this second set? Not for me. Medvedev closes out the match against Rusevori. 6-4, 6-2. And Kasakina 5-2 up in the tie break against Grabber. Looking like she may get that one done. The only other match on right now, Hampfman, Fritz. Hampfman is set up. And Fritz won all in the second. And Eager now three games away from the next round. Which would be a fourth round matchup. And she would play the winner of Donna Vekic. And Ludmila Samsonova. We've got Snehill in. How are you doing? One of our members. Good to see you. How do you see this rest of this set going? Do you see this just being a whitewash? Or do you see it going any other way? We have somebody already, or some people already into the fourth round. Seems like the Czech player is doing well, as always, on the clay. Von Jorsova. Uh, she will be playing either Kalinskaya or Rybakina. We've got Mukova's through. She'll play the winner of Badoza Kostyuk. Kudometova through. The Russians, she knocked out Potapova. She'll play the winner of Goff, Bauskova. And Kim Wing Zhang already, already through. She'll be playing uh, Ziyu Wang. Osorio Solano will play, be playing Haddad Meyer. And obviously, Sophia Kenin got knocked out by Kalanina. She'll be playing the winner of Keys Azarenka at the bottom there. So that bottom half, very much open. I mean, it's anybody's. If anybody wants to put a little run together, you could have potentially a kin... Well, if Zeng or Goff or Kudmetova. I mean, it's there, it's there for the taking, the bottom. Now Sabah's out. Hadab Meyer, maybe. Osorio Solano. Could be anybody's. In very interesting. When the big gun goes out, Saba gone. It looked long, that serve. I mean, there was no call from, well, the umpire to call it. Why is the line judge not calling it? Yeah, uh, Ghost saying Caroline Garcia is such a disappointment. What's going on with her? I don't. I did feel that that was going to be the case in 2023. I hate to say it. Good winner there from Eager. I don't believe I had Garcia in my top 10 for the end of the year. Thought it might have been just slightly a flash in the pan for 2022. I think I ejected so many of the players from, <laughs> from last year's top 10. Went for a whole new. Uh, Revamp for the top 10. That's a serve and a long from Eager there. Let's keep an eye. Sissipas 
back out on court to try and finish his match against Nuno Borges. He's up 40 love, 40 15 now, up a break at 4 3 in the second. Oh, good accuracy here for the moment from Solenko, but she's being pushed back. The power of Eager is evident. Down the line, moving her around. Down the other line, moving her around. And the final one, she puts it away. And that's the break. For love, Iga Sviontek. And Kasakina does get it done. She's through in a grueling match of three hours, 17 minutes against Glaber of Austria. And Kasakina will now get to play. The winner of Klaichikova Ostapenko. Well, not the nicest prize after you've just played three hours, 17 minutes. Em saying Fritz not playing well. Uh, he's down a break in the second now. And Yannick Hanfman seems like he's doing the business. He's a nightmare of a player to play on the clay courts if he's playing well. And you have to be at your top game to beat him. Up to 54 likes on the video. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Join the membership. Join the Patreon if you want to be part of Player Roulette. That's going on at the moment for Rome. One of my player, well, my Player Roulette might go out soon. Got the Hechka. But let me know who you were allocated in Player Roulette. Casper Rude might have been a good one. Actually interested to see Hanfman's to go through who would be playing. So if Hanfman goes through, he'll be playing Chechenato. Oh, my word. I think I had Batista a goot, which is terrible for me. Not good for my bracket. Hubi Hercatch went out as well. JJ Wolf, that's another poor one for my bracket, but he did play incredibly well. I'll give him some credit. Carlos Alcalaz in weights for the winner of Malazan Lehechka. I'm sorry to say, I don't really see either of those being much of a matchup for Carlitos. That one does go wide on the return. Well, I'm not so sure if they're saying the serve may have been wide. No, I think she was. Yeah, that she's just asking to see the, the mark again. But he said it was quite wide. <laughs> just confirming. Nice of him. She was maybe just feeling like she's seeing things. Never probably been in this position hitting so many errors backhand to backhand cross court and eager just steps in it's just more power more accuracy yeah go saying Bruno won easily huh kid looks like he's in great form Said, yeah, he got booed the whole match too and just gets on with it. He's the real deal. That's exactly what I said in the draw preview. I think he's the type of player who embraces all of that type of stuff. I like, he's definitely cut from the Djokovic cloth. And what a winner down the line from Eager. She makes it five, love. <laughs> Got Go saying JJ and Big Fo are the only Americans who might make the later rounds, and that's being generous. We just suck so bad on clay. And Sissi Pass goes through. He comes back on court, plays two games, and he's through. 6 3, 6 3 against Nuno Borges. Yeah, that's it. I agree. I hope he embraces it, Ben. I like a bad guy. Yeah, same. I think it uh, makes it more interesting, the sport. I think it would make for 
for a very, very interesting rivalry. Should it be Aruna Alcaraz? I feel that they could be the real pairing to carry the sport, to be honest. I know that a lot of people say Yannick Sinner. I feel that he has a part to play in it as well. But for me, the those two are the, the two key players from the the young players on tour who really, really show everything it it takes to to get a like a competition, a match over the line. And they have different personalities as well. Both have desire, both have amazing shot making ability. But yeah, there's just something different about those two. I wouldn't say I, I wouldn't say Sin has not got it, but he just doesn't have it as in as much abundance. And he is older than both of them. You've got to remember that. And they're already showing more. I think that they're recognized maybe by some of the other bigger players on on the tour as the next big things. That's why. Snail saying, Ben, till which rank do players enter uh, get to enter slam qualifiers? It's a really good question. Um, I think you can check it online, but I'll have a look. Um, yeah, let me see if I can find something for you. So, so for the qualifying, let me just see how many, because it's a massive qualifying as well. And you, I think you even get wild cards into the qualifying. So, I mean, from what I can see, qualifying i mean it can go it can stretch all the way down to from from what i can see on here all the way down to like the mid 200s they don't think there's an exact one because there's going to be withdrawals there's going to be protected rankings there's going to be stuff like that i'm going to sneeze now just apologize for that in advance oh i can feel it coming i can feel it Coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. Oh, it didn't go. It just made me... Oh, my sinus is all over. I feel like there's hay fever or something around today. That's long from Sorenko. But yeah, there's a, so many players that could be included in the qualifying. For the main draw, if you want that one, that's around the 100 mark at the moment to get into the main draw of Roland Garros. Yes, and Summit Nagal just won a challenger. Um, I'm sure he'll be there or thereabouts. There's players down as far as, i say about 230 in the world that are included, so he may move up into one of those places, into the net from Eager there. Sorry. Sorry, I think it's just hay fever or something today. Woke up today, everything was like itching. Oh, nice forehand there from Solenko. Goes cross court, gets eager on the run. Gets eager on the run down the other side. Eager flicks it up. I think that's going to go wide. It does. 40-30. Is she going to deny us the bagel? I think she might be. Sean saying Nagao has a better chance at Roland Garros than Nadal at this point. Not sure about that. I think a one-legged Nadal might even do better. Not to be disrespectful. I feel he's that good. Forty thirty. Can Eager prevent the game for Solenko in this second set? Good backhand. And it is long from Selenko. We go to Deuce. 
And Hampfman having his way with Fritz right now. 4-1 up in the second set. 6-4 in the first. Fritz looking like he's going to go crashing out. Yeah, I mean, that looks like it's going to be over very, very quickly. Serve long from Solenko. Second serve. Second serve's in. Forehand, cross court. Down the line. Cross court backhand here from Eager. Hmm, interesting. And that is <laughs> now match point. Match point. Right, match point. It's into the net. Don't do a double fault on match point. Come on. You're better than that, Serenko, surely. Is she going to do it? We're going to find out soon. Oh, Aniga steps in. Big backhand. There it is. And it is finally six love. And it is the bagel. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a bagel. We got a bagel. We got a bagel. We got a Bagel, bagel. It's eager with another bagel. Of course it is. Three bagels in four sets. And essentially, it's four, really. She lost the first two games and then she won six in a row. She won 12 games in a row to win this match after losing the first two. She she lost the first two. Sorenko didn't really win them either. So Sorenko didn't actually look that bad. I thought she was... A, a good, a better opponent than I'd say Pavlyuchenkova was, but yeah, that shows in the score. She was two games better, not not enough to really uh, write home about. But still, still though, I thought it was an easy performance for Iga. I didn't see it going much different to the other match, but at least we got a little bit here and there, isn't it? Like, there you go. The Yazda continues. That's it. World check. Eager's match is so boring. She needs real contenders. I mean, nobody's really a contender right now for Eager. Maybe the next round will be. She'll be playing the winner of Donna Vekic, Samsonova. Now that could be a potential interesting matchup, but we've said that many times in the past and look where we ended up. We ended up with Eager just battering them again. Remember in Rome, she is dangerous. She's the reigning champ for a reason. Well, we've got Djokovic coming up next. Make sure you join us for that one. He's next up on the main court. Um, what else is there to, to really say? Uh, not much. Just make sure if you haven't already, hit the like, subscribe, and do all the other bits and bobs. Um, make sure you check out the countdown. The new series on the channel is pinned to the main part of the of the uh, page. So just go check that one out. It's the countdown to Roland Garros every week coming your way. Anyway, for now, over and out. Yazda Iga. Iga, Iga, Opening when the Polish girl be rolling in, each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up, bagel in. I'm eager, I wanna know the job. I'm a beach, I'm gonna beach, I'm eager, I'm gonna see you. Now you can't handle my heat now.